Check our Sunrise Smart Start. One of the four men accused in a local plot to bomb a Muslim community near Binghamton scheduled to return to court today. Last week, prosecutors wanted to increase bail to one million for all the suspects, but the judge only granted that for 18-year-old Andrew Kreisel. He is set to return to court at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Well, an athletic trainer who works with students in the Geneseo School District is due in court today on federal charges. Austin Pratt was arrested back in January after state police say he had sex contact with a teenage girl. Pratt is being charged with production of child pornography and the enticement of a minor. Well, according to a recent study, New York has the fourth highest taxes in the country. New York coming in at number 48 out of 51 states in Washington, D.C. in the 2019 tax rates by state study by WalletHub. According to that study, the only states with tax rates higher than New York are Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Illinois. The study also found that New York State has the fifth highest gas taxes per gallon and is tied with Connecticut for the highest cigarette tax rate. The Chili's restaurant on Jefferson Road in Henrietta will close its doors. The Henrietta Town Supervisor telling us that location may close as early as the end of the month. The reason for the closure has not been released. We did reach out to corporate officials from Chili's but have not heard back. Well, the Hill Kimura pageant coming to an end next year. That means just two more runs of the mega show that attracts tens of thousands of people to Palmyra for one week in July every year. Adam Chodak asking Neil Pitts, the pageant president, why it's ending and how they're preparing for what's likely going to be even bigger crowds this year. You can catch Adam's interview tonight on News 8 at 11 o'clock. All right, Josh, this is the day we've been looking forward to all week, at least in terms of temperatures. That's right. Spring fever alerts are flying here for all of uh, Rochester, Western New York, and the Finger Lakes. We do have a lot of clouds here this morning, so might not have as nice of a sunrise, but we are going to find those temperatures uh, soaring as we work our way through the day today. Now, the winds are going to kick up as well, especially later tonight and into tomorrow, and that's why wind advisories are in effect. Uh, through tomorrow evening, actually, we can see gusts on the the order of 40 to 50 miles per hour. The day will be dry. Those showers you see back to the west will hold off until uh, much later tonight. But look at those temperatures. Mid-60s for today. Some of the warmest weather we've cool. seen in weeks. That's going to feel great. A lot of people probably wanting to call in sick right about now. <laughs> We're not saying to do that. Maybe they the are. Well, maybe they are. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching News 8 at Sunrise.